go back to Parliament for the very latest on the devastating fire with the lady who's normally sitting next to me, my co-anchor, Annika Larson. Uh, Annika, earlier we saw visuals of firefighters, uh, firefighters still working on that blaze. We heard earlier this morning that they would be uh, possibly uh, moving out of the precinct in two to three hours, but it seems like there's still quite a bit of work to go. That's right, Taps. We've just seen another team move in, and uh, they also have oxygen and uh, sort of uh, breathing apparatus on, which means that it's pretty uh, smoky in there. And I think it's going to take some time to damp down those areas, especially as there are books smoldering, there are carpets smoldering. And you saw from those photos of inside the uh, chamber, the main chamber uh, in the National Assembly, that it's absolutely gutted. And that infrastructure is incredible precariously holding together but let's not forget that this edifice uh, that you're seeing this building is more than just a building it is a place of work it is a place of memory it is a very historic area in our city it's part of our it's part of our, our country's running moving part if you like and it's also home to many and I'm joined now by uh, Natasha Mazzoni who's the DA's chief whip and uh, she if I don't want to put words into your mouth Natasha but she's devastated um, Natasha thanks for joining us this is an emotional time for many MPs who spend their lives here sometimes up to 18 hours a day Anika, I'm, I'm sorry, but I am very emotional. This um, parliament has been my home for 12 years. We do, we spend more time here than we do at our own homes. Um, I look up and I just see the statue of Madiba and behind him, this building broken and burnt. And the only thing I can think of is he's giving me hope that this, this phoenix will rise from the ashes. But when I saw what the chamber looked like, that chamber where we have sat for hours and hours, the chamber where we had our first democratic president sworn in, the chamber that had the I am an African speech, the chamber where we decided to take action against President Jacob Zuma, the chamber where we've said, uh, we've spoken our hearts, we've lived our emotions, where the worst of humanity met the best of humanity that our roof has collapsed, the chamber inside, the public gallery has collapsed. Um, the, it, I, I can't imagine not sitting in that chamber in my usual seat where we always sit. Watching the flames yesterday, it was, it was devastating. I was across the road, I just kept out of the way of the firemen because I didn't want to get in their way. Hats off, I mean, it has to be said, we have the bravest firefighting service in the world. They were outstanding yesterday. They were trying to save everything that they could. It's still unclear how much of the artwork that is priceless has been destroyed. We know that the water damage is just unbelievable. We know that the NA, this, this beautiful new assembly chamber that represented the Rainbow Nation, the new South Africa, has been completely gutted. And what kills me, Annika, is that we have members of parliament, absolute cretins, going on to social media and saying that wasn't it a beautiful blaze and that makes my heart ache it makes me angry it makes me outraged and it makes me more determined to make sure that this parliament will rise and be better than the parliament that it was before thank you so much uh, strong words there from DA Chief Whip. All right. Well, that's our Anna Colossing speaking to Natasha Mazzoni, Chief Whip for the DA in Parliament.